Aquarius, welcome to your reading, 8 till 14 June, and what happens next? All right, there, there's, there's so many questions at the moment on everybody's minds. Um, my readings last week were about um, Twin Flame, and so, but what happens next now? What happens next in life? What happens next in love? Um, as boys to men said, where do we go from here? All right, so welcome to my channel. I'm Adrian H. Nelson, Page and Great Life. And this is your, um, basically those first two weeks of June. What happens within this period and going forward? What happens in this period? What can you be, you know, looking forward to? This is, of course, a general guidance reading. And as I'm speaking to you, I'm going to start drawing cards. All right. I mean, it is, of course, a general guidance reading. Um, so whatever resonates with you, resonates. And what doesn't resonate, doesn't resonate. You know, you just release it with peace and with love and you let it go. You can also order yourself a personal detailed reading if you want to do that. 12 US dollars for 30 minutes reading. It's a downloadable reading that I sent to you. Let's see what the angels has got to say for you, my beautiful souls. Um, you're more than welcome to also follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. The links are down below. Okay, let's get this party cracking. Let's get this party started. And let's see what can you look forward to in life. You know, everybody can do with a bit of good news right now. So let's see what is the good news for you. What is the good guidance for you? There's two cards. Why not? Let's give you two. Let's give you two cards. You know, let's give you two cards. Let's see what we can get for you for beautiful guidance over there in life. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. All right. So we've got your oracle cards and let's see what they are. Oh, and what are they saying? Oh, beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Alrighty. So let's look at this a little bit, let's clarify it, and then we see what message we have for you from the universe. So, such an important reminder here, wandering path, enjoy the journey. All right. I think right now, more than at many other points, it's so easy for us to forget that life is a journey, that, that, that there's still beautiful things happening along the way, you know, and sometimes we get so caught up in stuff along the way that we forget to enjoy the journey, that we forget to enjoy the experience, that we forget that life is a limited deal, which, um, you know, soon before long is going to be you know, it's going to be cut off. We're not going to be here anymore. So, um, such a powerful reminder for you. You've been overdoing it a bit. Um, you know, be that you were stressing about money or career or family or love or whatever, really. All right. Um, here's a reminder for you. Boom, right there. To enjoy the ride, to enjoy the experience, to embrace the experience. Okay. So, if you've been... I don't know, like, um, you know, falling a little bit out of sync there for a while and f maybe feeling a bit overwhelmed, getting a very lot in that headspace at the moment, needing to do this, needing to do that, needing to do this, needing to do that. So many things. And it's like your plate is so full, you know, that it, um, and obviously your plate overflowing with things that you need to do, it's not exactly the same as your cup overflowing. So the way to get your cup overflowing is by emptying that plate. Okay, that plate's been a little bit too full, and you want the cup to flow again. Let's see what we can get off that plate for you. Alrighty. Um, yeah, how do you get back on the map of life? How do you get back on the flow of life? Those are too many cards. What do we have there for Aquarius? Getting you some guidance here, my beautiful souls. And how are you all doing? How's it all going? You know, how's everybody doing? Um, such a, a pleasure for me to be able to reach out to you. Let me know how you're going. Let me know what's happening in your life. Leave me some comments. Subscribe to the channel. You know, like the video if you like it. Or let me know. Let's see. Alrighty. So, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Chariot. Mm, this is good stuff. So, some of you got very big dreams there. Very big dreams and your heart is longing now this is interesting this is interesting how life can sometimes give you a little bit of um, clarity and guidance as to where it is that you want to go because even though you are you know by, by nature a very sort of free soul and a free spirit and you know you'd rather just 
fly and you know have your plan set out but the rest kind of see where life takes you some of you really you're ready to settle down you're ready for love you're ready for marriage you're ready for commitment um and yeah you know you may have said like listen i'm ready for this i have these desires inside my heart but when it comes to desires you go like oh my goodness you know do i actually want this is it what if it doesn't work out and what if it's not this and what if it's not that you need to be easy, okay? Balance the divine male and balance the divine feminine. So if you've been feeling a little bit out of sync or stuff, this is the guidance for you. It's time for balance. It's time to do that inner soul work. It's time to take those deep breaths. It's time to, 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 to take a moment, to stand down, to take a moment and say, okay, what are the beautiful things in life? What are the nice things that are still happening? What are the things that are making the moment still work from the one moment to the next moment? The nice reasons to breathe, okay? The things that still make your heart smile. What are those things? Who are those people, okay? And um, that in itself, if you're looking for love, that will align you with the energy of love, okay? And um, for, for those of you that feel that you've met that special person, and you're like, oh my goodness, can I even trust these emotions? I really feel that you can. Okay, I feel that you can. I feel that this person has got very um, uh, honest um, intentions towards you. And it might be a little bit gentle for you now, maybe like on the softer side, but sometimes it's all about trying something new. Sometimes it's all about trying something new. All right. Let go of your past this is the message from the angels here for you it says let go of your past the burden of carting your past around has made you weary all right dear one it's time to set this burden down keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind it must go bye bye okay you don't want it or need it and it is now gone so you know if you've been Obviously, you know, there are things in life and there are moments in life and we like to keep the memoirs, we like keep to keep the memories and all those type of things. But sometimes we want to be mindful that we might be keeping so many physical things uh, and the same goes for emotional things. We might be having all this baggage that we're carrying around. But at the end of the day, you really want to ask yourself, do I actually need this? Have I actually needed this? Does it serve a constructive purpose in my life? Because if it doesn't, Aquarius, then it needs to go, my Aquarius. It needs to go, okay? Because whatever doesn't serve a positive purpose in your life, it's just sitting there. Um, unless it's honey that's going to last like 3,000 years and preserve other things, it may go off and it may just yeah, kind of not make your experience of life not as brilliant as you'd like it to be, okay? So if it's not serving the best purpose of all, um, if it's not sort of filling that void inside um, or just really where you want to go if it's not in, in line with the vision of where you want to go you may want to let that go all right i know sometimes we can keep a lot of stuff because maybe one day we'll need it and maybe one day we'll need that but what you need will be provided for you when you require it the universe will provide it for you so what you need will be provided for you by the universe when you need it. Sometimes we would hold ourselves from the most beautiful, beautiful abundance, prosperity, blessing, success, love, career, relationships. We would hold ourselves from all these incredible things in life because we hold on to things. Okay, we keep this for a rainy day and we keep that for a rainy day. Let me tell you this about a rainy day because today is actually a rainy day and I love the rain. The rain washes things away. It cleanses out, it clears the space so that new things can come in, okay? By letting go of the things that no longer serve you in a positive way, you let new things come in. You let new love come in. You let a renewed sense of um, love within your relationship come in, okay? Um, clarifies there for that card is the Three of Pentacles, yep, yep, yep. Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands. All right. So how do you get your soul all smiling again? It's taking it back to basics, my friends. It's taking it back to basics. All right. Um, a lot of times you want to ask yourself the question, why did I start this? Why did I move? Why did I not move? Why did I enter this relationship? Why did I not enter this relationship? With a job, with all areas of your life. Okay. You want to ask yourself, and when you can remind yourself why it is that you initially started, why you maybe downscaled at a point, why you held back, 
all right that is when you remember why you started then you are reminded of your strength within the moment and once you got that boom 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 light bulb moment okay because look at what our next card says it says metamorphosis okay you're all evolving okay you're all evolving you're like what is this what is this character called um mm, blimey i'm almost 40. <laughs> um what is it called now i can't remember not the transformers not the power rangers you see i've been around for a while let me pick up this card set failure which let's just put them nicely back again but you're in the process of changing you know um you remember goku and then ah there we go so you're in the process of changing in the process of becoming more um you're in the journey so again if there are things that you've maybe been if you may have been going to a little bit of a space maybe hoarding because the thing that you also want to ask yourself sometimes when it came, comes to keeping stuff and you don't let them go sometimes it's actually the fear of when you move forward that there won't be enough so sometimes we will have many many reasons why we're keeping stuff why we're not letting go of people of relationships of situations um because sometimes it is a fear of if you go forward into the future that there actually won't be a sufficient supply you don't have to have this fear okay because you remember your reading started off right at the beginning it reminded you to enjoy the journey that what you need will be provided for you because before you were born there was a perfect soul plan that was laid out for you and you worked with it you knew what you needed you knew what you wanted it's there all right i think sometimes we feel that we can only along the way get like the big things but life is about the small things as well all right the little moments that take your breath away those ahs like ah, oh. okay and then this temperance card remember when these cards were just falling down i picked them up this is the card that was right on top and it was a, a juggling night uh, or what you call it was on top again all right the temperance card the strength is within you remember no matter where you go in life and no matter what happens you are the one who is born with the ability to attract to yourself any experience of life that you want so when it literally comes to so on the part that you are life says to you no problem things are good you are changing you are going to a next phase and it says to you don't worry because up until this point you have been provided for so going forward you will also be provided for you don't have to worry about lack and, li and limitation because the need will be provided for you if you allow that um possibility inside of your heart okay there we go coming a six of wands and the queen of wands coming into beautiful moments speaking a lot about emotions here you know a lot about emotions going into that emotional flow um it's safe for you to embrace your emotions right now um you know so if you find have been more on the covering up side of things didn't want to feel too much didn't want to show too much you know um i know that for some of you you might have felt it was weak if you cried in public or in front of other people or didn't know what to do or you know had a little breakdown have your breakdown and get it out of the way okay so that you can go on and have your best experience of life okay look at that black cat over there the magic is with you as you in for you the key to, to embrace you know all the beauty and the prosperity and for it to unlock and for you to uh, for those of you that feel that you're a little bit out of sync with your sort of life path your soul path your destiny you know that sort of stuff you kind of feel like oh, you know it's is the whole world against me now is the universe against me now you know has god turned his back on me if you're having that sort of vibe remember that you have the magic inside of you if you've been looking for a sign this is your sign if you've been looking for a sign this is it the, you are the magic that you are looking for okay you are the magic that you are looking for you and i respect that about you okay Alrighty. let's see rescue some of you are waiting around to be rescued you're waiting for the perfect prince to come around and you're waiting for the princess and the opportunity and you know for the chips to fall in the right places and all those type of stuff no 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 ah 
Ah, I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this. So you have got three major arcana cards and these cards are not playing around. Eh? The death card, the hermit card and the devil card. So this is speaking to you quite straightforward and it's, it's speaking a bit loudly, it's speaking a bit strongly, you know, it's saying, so first of all, again, going through a journey, going through a change, going to a metamorphosis. The death card is, it's not a bad card, it's actually a good card. It lets you know that you're going from a sort of a yak 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 space that you maybe didn't like too much into a so much better space, okay? It is, it speaks about moving forward into prosperity, into abundance, into success, into love, into smile, into joy, into all those things. So you need to open your heart to that, all right? You need to understand that the um that the um solutions that you might have been looking for outside you know from the angels from source from your spirit guide from your from your guides your guardians all these things you know um yes they are assisting you but you are the one who is setting the tone so tune into the magic tone okay tune into the magic tone for yourself it's It'll serve you best. Give yourself time. Be patient with yourself. All right. We have got so much patience sometimes with other people. Um, you know, when they come to you and they're feeling a little bit demotivated, they're like, "Don't worry. You've got this. You've got this. You've got this, Baba. You've got this." Okay. Give yourself some time. Don't be so impatient with yourself. Uh, it is a process. But then, when it comes to ourselves, we speak so ugly to ourselves sometimes. You need to stop that nonsense. You need to give yourself a little bit of a break there, because you don't. There is no need for you to be your own um, uh, sort of like, you know, worst enemy, like your own downfall. No, no, no. Because look at what this card says. This is what we're ending off with. This is powerful stuff. You are the master. Okay. You are the captain of your own ship. What are these three cards that are falling out here right away? There we go. Seven of Wands, the Strength card, and the Four of Cups. Some of you have got some trust issues. Okay. And... The trust issues that you have is sometimes within yourself. Sometimes you feel like um, that. I would say that you're not good enough, but there might be somebody better for the job. Um, or, you know, why would he be interested in me? Why would she be interested in me? Why not? Why not? You are a soul that is having a human being experience. You are a divine, eternal being of love and light. There are beautiful things coming your way. There are beautiful things being offered your way. So please, 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 my beautiful Aquarius, going forward, there are wonderful things that's going to be offered with you. And some of those things are so big and so, you know, huge um, that it will evoke some fears within you. It will, um, it will, it will wake up some sort of maybe deep seated sort of emotions that you suppress, you know, some inner child issues, some childhood issues, some traumas that you had, from disappointments that you have when things didn't work out. It's going to remind you of all those things. It is reminding you of those things because those are the things that you need to work through to get to your oomph, oomph, oomphness. Okay. So again, don't be your own worst enemy. All right. When the difficult things come up, know that you can do it. Know that you've got what it takes. You are an Aquarius and you can do absolutely anything. Okay. On a love and respect, my beautiful people. Remember, if you like the reading, let me know about it. Like it. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. I'll see you next week.